giant skull of a huge marine reptile has gone on permanent display at the Dorset County Museum, unveiled by Sir David Attenborough. I mean, it seems to me uh, a cause for huge astonishment and a lot of thanks and congratulations. Uh, the astonishment, well, that's yours, up to you. You can see that. What a fabulous thing. Uh, how easy it is to imagine, because of the skill of the mount, of what that was like. Particularly when you know, as I've been told earlier this morning, that this extraordinary animal had a brain the size of a peanut. <laughs> Just imagine a creature like that surging through the oceans. Amazing. Unlike anything else today. Dating back around 155 million years, the pliosaur skull was discovered at the nearby Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site and is one of the largest and best preserved fossils of its kind ever found. We've got the pliosaur in the museum at last and for me as a scientist this is the beginning of the story. Um, before we saw a lump of rock with bones in it, now the, the pliosaur is out of the, the rock and we can see much more about the animal, the fossil and what, how it behaves. We can see the big teeth at the front, which were the main area for grabbing prey. The second set of teeth we call the caniniform teeth, which are for biting prey. And then at the back, the teeth that hook the prey back down the gullet of the animal. There are some tooth marks on the skull. So here we have tooth marks. And tracing it back, there's marks, 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 all the way back. So it looks as if something with a gigantic lower jaw came in and crushed this part of the skull. When the skull is cleaned up, we, have, we can see the sheer power of the animal from the size of the holes that the muscles went through. This is, I could stand in this hole, and that's where the jaw muscles went. That's what drove the power, which drove this massive jaw. Muscles would attach here, and you can see just the depth of the jaw tells you how powerful the animal was. This jaw was roughly the same strength as steel. So imagine the strength of steel girder that deep and that long. This was the most powerful predator that ever lived. It could bite a small car in half. So this mindless animal, ploughing through the sea, lunging at whatever it discovers, is, a, is a, a something to keep you awake at night. There are so many amazing things about this specimen, but to my mind, the most is that the collector, Kevin Sheehan, spent five years going down to the beach, every time it was rough and stormy, recovering piece after piece after piece. He only missed three pieces, and those have been found by two other collectors and are now united in this one single specimen. One of the reasons why the Jurassic Coast is a World Heritage Site is for its international important fossils. This specimen that you can see here is just another fantastic example of specimens that are scientifically important that are still coming out of the coast today. It's a wonder because of the splendour of its mount, it seems to me. In time gone by, I bet you that they would have laid that out in a rather formal way with the skull, the jaw separated from the main skull. Here, it has been had the inspiration to mount it with its jaws open, so you can imagine what it was like uh, as it was uh, hunting. It's taken over a year to prepare the thing, and it's taken a further four months to actually make the stand that it's sitting on. So a lot of hard work has already been done on this specimen, the cleaning all the rock off the bone. Some of the pieces weighed as much as 80 kilos, and I actually prepared 30 kilos of rock off of them, which took it down to 50 kilos. It's been through a CT scanner to actually create a three-dimensional picture of the whole of the skull and the bones and the texture inside. But we still don't know actually know what it is. Is it a new species? That's the big discussion. Uh, I think the money is on that it could well be. But there's another whole year's worth of scientific study to be done to compare it to existing specimens before we can determine whether or not it is actually something new to science. There's nothing provincial about uh, this, you know. I mean, this is world, this is world class. Um, and so, uh, and it's right and proper that it should be here. Um, in this day and age, uh, the old notion that if you found anything important, you had inevitably to send it to London is, is, uh, is old hat. I mean, that's not required anymore. I mean, it's perfectly easy for people to come from London to look at it here. The specimen was purchased by Dorset County Council's museum service, supported by the Heritage Lottery Fund and significant funding from Dorset and Devon County Councils. The pliosaur is the most remarkable in a series of new fossil displays in Jurassic Coast museums, stretching from Budley Salterton in Devon to Wareham in Dorset.
It's, it's amazing to have such a, an important specimen here in the museum. It'll be something to attract visitors to the museum here in Dorchester for, for, for right now and for many years to come, I believe. And um, I think it's because it's such an internationally significant uh, object. You know, globally, very few of these things have been found, and this is the most complete one ever discovered in the world. The Dorset County Museum is open Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information about the museum, go to www.dorsetcountymuseum.org.